Hey, coaches, got a fantastic guest tonight. Deshaun Holmes is the head football coach at Enrico High School in Richmond, Virginia, beautiful area of Virginia. Uh, he is an air raid guy. It comes through Stan Bedwell uh, and, and connected with Hal Mummy. He is going to teach on a uh, quick game tonight, 61-62. He has just taken over a, a, a program, and he's excited. They're going through spring ball. And, buddy, I sure do appreciate it. We met at the Tennessee Air Raid Clinic, and I sure do appreciate you coming on and doing this, man. Appreciate it, Joe, man. I appreciate you for allowing me to, you know, step foot and be on this uh, podcast and this, you know, beautiful uh, stage. And so I thank you and uh, all the Air Raid guys that spin it to win it and let it rip. <laughs> Awesome, man. Well, you want to give any any background stuff before you jump in and start teaching? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Well, like Joe said, my name is Deshaun Holmes. I am the new head football coach at Henrico High School uh, in Richmond, Virginia. I'm 32 years old. Uh, a little bit about myself. I was a defensive back in high school and got recruited uh, to play some defensive back at the University of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, I then did my fifth year, and once I finished my fifth year at, at U of R, I was trying to figure out what, where do my life go as far as football is concerned. So my head coach uh, at my high school was the head coach at Henrico High School at the time, and I just pretty much asked him I was interested in coaching high school football, and I wanted to stay in the game. So he gave me the opportunity to be the JV head football coach for only five weeks, but <clears throat> I enjoyed it, and then that, that fifth week, I went up to varsity and coached the defensive back. So I, at that point of the varsity, it was from, from here on there. I was the defensive back coach, special teams coordinator, uh, wide receivers coach, running backs coach, quarterbacks coach, uh, offensive coordinator, assistant head coach. So the only thing I didn't coach is the offensive line. And we're and you know, were they running air raid back then, or is that once you got uh that was kind of your own direction yes sir so we were running it uh as my transition to the offensive side of the ball when I got here we were running more of a, a pistol wing tee and then we kind of adopted to the uh the Tony Franklin system on um, the air rate and then we then went back to the wing tee after COVID and then I kind of wanted to you know I let my wings go and my head coach at the time wanted to be more of a passing attack, pass heavy type of guy. So that's when I kind of got in touch with Stan and Stan has been a phenomenal mentor to me, my staff, um, I, some of the previous staff that were that was here at Henrico. And then we just did a three day uh, clinic here at uh, Henrico High School and Stan taught my staff and also the uh, previous staff, uh, the air raid and we've been running ever since. Awesome, man, awesome. Well, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're ready to learn, man. Show us how you do your quick game stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. You gave me the uh, access to share my screen. Just want to make sure. Cool. All right, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Got it. All right, cool. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to be talking a little bit about our quick game, 61 and 62 which was something that we utilized um, a lot this year, this past year. Uh, we had a quarterback. Uh, he wasn't really a, a thrower of the football. He was more of an a, a athlete playing football. But a lot of our receivers were um, some dynamic players. So our H was pretty much our dynamic player. Then we had our, at our X, which was our uh, take the top off kind of guy that kind of helped us a lot. And then we had a couple of injuries as well when it came to uh, this past season. And we kind of had some fill-ins some pieces that went in there. But at the end of the day, we just did, you know, repetition was the mother of all nature. And we just kept repping it. And our kids got a lot better at it as we went on through the season. So as I, you know, start going in here, this is 61 for us. Quarterbacks, you know, is going to our, our read. He has a lot of grass there. So what our ex is doing, he's taking, you know, a four step hitch, four steps. And then our H is pretty much going seven yards over top of the ball, and he's kind of running a, a slot fade, which you, if that's what we call it. To our backside, uh, our Y, he's going to be running what we call, he's going to be running a, a, a four-step corner. I know my drawing is bad. And then this Z is pretty much breaking off this Y. So he's pretty much going to be kind of like, you know, 
skipping over. And as soon as that wire breaks, he's coming here and he's finding in the grass. We tell our Fs, our Fs got it. We kind of cheat our F up a little bit because we want our F to kind of fly out there and to shoot into the flats to get that guy, this outside, this outside uh, apex defender, we call it the whole player. We want him to get out there. But being that this corner's playing so far off, our quarterback sees that, you know, this is where we want to go with the ball right now. Now I just wish he would have kind of kept our, kept our receiver on his feet, but we'll take what, you know, we'll take it. All right, so this is for us 62. So, so in our quick games, we going back to 61, we, we combo routes both sides. Uh, so on this side, we will have, again, our hitch, and then we will have our, our slot fade, and he's going to get up the field. And then again, our Y is running that corner. And then our Z is running what we call like a lazy slant, and he's sticking in our F is coming out in the flats right there. So our quarterback, he pretty much liked uh, the field side. So he went to the field side, but I'm always telling him the back. You can never go wrong with throwing the balls at the back. Did you get much production out of that slot fade or was that basically him just clearing out for that, for that easy hitch? Uh, we, we really didn't get a lot of production with the slot fade but we repped it in practice, giving our guys different looks as far as like cover twos. So letting our quarterbacks know that that hole shot, we gotta be able to throw that ball in that hole shot in case that corner squats and in a cover two type of look. But we rarely threw the ball to the H. We wanted to pretty much uh, just get that ball out to the, uh, to the X. And then I kind of show you guys the adjustment that we did um, later in the season when we did uh, 61 and 62. But that's a great question. All right, so 62, uh, we run, we're running this out of trips. Uh, and then we, we lined up wrong, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, just getting the ball real quick, an easy throw to the boundary, running the stick. I just wish our, our, wide, rece our wide receiver, he's a little bit too upfield. You want to kind of get in between the range of three to four yards. It's kind of almost a little bit five almost. And we're just trying to make it an easy pitch and catch throw for our quarterback. Now our F is wrong. We we put our F over here just for some for some uh, for some pass protection at this particular time because this team was kind of bringing a lot of pressure and heat. So we just kept our back home um, in that in this route. As far as quick game. All right, so we're going 62 H Friday. So we're tagging this route to our to our H. We're still running the 62 concept. Uh, but we're telling our quarterback we like what we have our matchup. Uh, pretty much the corner and the safety are pretty much in the same area. So we feel like we can get this five yard out, out really quick. And like I said, our H is one of our best guys. Same thing, 62H Friday. I just wish our quarterback would have just got the ball out a little bit more, a little bit more quicker. He's taking more of a three-step drop, which we don't like. He's pretty much almost taking a, 90, a 90s drop. Ball should pretty much have been going right now. If our quarterback is just pretty much opening and throwing this ball right now, our, our H should be getting the ball right now. At this point right there, ball should be gone. But again, we still make it, we make it do what it do. Our, our age is being a phenomenal athlete. You know, he's getting us more yards. You know, the air raid philosophy is throw the ball short to people who can score. So we're trying to get the ball into our athletes' hands right now so they can be successful. Coach, you got any questions on so, anything so far? 
No, I'm liking it, man. And so you're you're tagging the uh, the quick out right there. That's when you're saying H Friday. That's that's a tag off this. So you got stick going to the right. Yes, sir. And, and then you're tagging vert out to the left. Yes, sir. So this H still runs the uh the out if we was to call 62. But uh -huh. being that we see that how this safety is playing it, we're just pretty much calling the H. We're just pretty much tagging, letting the uh the quarterback know that we want to throw this Friday route out right now. Because there's so much space here, as you see. So he he normally is going to run that route. You're just telling the quarterback, throw it to him. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And then on your on your uh, Y corner route, your 61 route, that's yes, automatic. Sir. The slot fade is automatic. Hit slot fade on the backside. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. Do you do you think about it as? A, a play side and a back side, or are they both options for you right now? Both both options. So we're, we're telling our quarterbacks he's, he's, he's reading, you know, the corner. So if the corner's playing off, we typically 90 to 95% of the time, we're going to go to the to the slot fade, to the hitch to the slot fade. Now, if that, if we seeing like a, a true cover one or some type of man look uh, or goal line type of look, then we want to work that that corners and that, uh, that lazy slant to the shoot. So what makes you like that? Because I, I do a terrible job of calling that Y corner play. What what makes you go to the Y corner side? Um, what, if, if the corner's impressed, I, I, I tend to like it. And if we get in one high, I typically like that that corner route, especially in the goal line. If we're in the goal line, I'm pretty much our, my quarterbacks pretty much know that we want to go to that corner, to that corner side. Okay. So now we're just pretty much doing a, it's pretty much trash can throw for us that right. we work in practice. Right. I like it. All right. So now we just we're running the same concepts. We're just running out of uh, open flips. So open flip for us would be our trips. I know a couple of you, uh, the air raid guys, they call it late. And what we're doing now, we're just going F jet. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this outside linebacker to kind of, I'm trying to get the quarterback to get a feel of getting this flat defender out into the flats. So we're still running our 62 concept, but instead of this guy running the shoot, how we would do in our two by two or our open, what we call it, or a lot of people call it ace. Uh, we're just jet motioning him out there to get that guy to uh, declare. Uh, so it makes it an easier throw for our quarterback for the stick route. Again, this is that guy number one from the last play. Just a big, big play receiver for us, thousand yard receiver for us. All right, now we're going just going trip sixty two. Now we complete this ball. However, though, it's our why due to our Y in the previous clips, he, he got hurt with a concussion. This wide receiver should be running inside here to attack this guy's inside shoulder to create the space for this backer here. So in, in film session, I was kind of, I was given pretty much a plus minus, but because as you see overall, as we went in the season, a lot of teams knew that we were running stick. So this, this wide receiver right here was pretty much saying he feels as if he's uncovered. But once he runs that stick route, this this backer right here can pretty much jump in and take it to the house. So, you know, myself and I'm, I'm, I'm using myself. We just got to do a better job in coaching these guys to he's got to pretty much attack this guy's inside shoulder and stick here at three or four yards. And then this guy's pretty much going to attack his in his outside shoulder. and We're going to break it here. He's there running the go mandatory outside release. Just want to create more space in this stick concept. Now, do we complete the ball? Absolutely. And I'm not faulting our, our wide receiver because he's pretty much three to four yards and he's keeping himself away from harm's way from this from this backer right here. So it makes it so it's a positive and a negative for me. How are you teaching, how are you teaching your steps on your stick? On the stick? 
So we're going to pretty much have our inside foot up like how we are right now. We're pretty much taking our right foot. We're going one, two, three, and we should be snapping our ass back for the football. So three steps. Three, three bigs? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so now we're tagging this. This is something I saw up top. Uh, we went 62 and we tagged the X on a slant. It was just too much space. And this pretty much just turned into our pad and go drill. We work every day. I just wish our quarterback kind of kept our X receiver on, on his feet. Because maybe we could, maybe we have a chance to make a play. Maybe he can make a guy miss if he catch the ball here and he, you know, Welkers and get north south up the field and we can pretty pretty much score. But I still I still like the play though. All right, again 62. Again, just want this our wire to kind of press a little bit more here and get and open it up a little bit more. But we still get Positive yards, positive play. We love stick to the boundary. It was just an easy – for our quarterback that we had this past season, it was just easy for him to just get the ball in his hands and get the ball out right now. All right, we're tagging again, 62. We're going excellent from the previous – the only thing – we kind of play with a little bit. We, yes, he's on the top of the numbers, what we coach him to do, but I think if we probably had him a little bit inside and splitting you know, the pro numbers inside between the top of the numbers and the hash, I think that they had a better play. It just wouldn't have been so, so much of a longer throw for our quarterback. All right, again, we're going 62 H Friday. Nobody's on our H receiver. So we just went to him right now. Our quarterback signaling to him, he's giving him the signal. And these guys bar pressure, so they're pretty much playing man coverage, which which was fine, which we saw on film all day, and we scored a touchdown off this play. He's got a little shake to him, doesn't he? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What grade's he in? Oh, man, he was a sophomore. He was a 10th mm. grader uh, last year, so he's been a junior for us this year. We didn't we didn't have the season that we wanted to last year, uh, but we played a lot of freshmen and sophomores. So we'll be we'll be we'll be good this year. Pretty good this year. Just if we get everybody come back and everybody's healthy. We'll be something to wreck with. Yeah, I I'd, I'd throw it to him a lot. Yes, sir. <laughs> He also played some F for us as well. All right, so this is what we did at the end of the year. We went 62, but what we did was we mirrored both sides. So we went 62 hitch. So it was a, so we pretty much gave a signal for the hitch for our quarterback and the receivers to let them know that we're mirroring on both sides. So instead of us running the 62, we're running the hitch and we're running the fade. This guy's running the mandatory outside release. He's running our Friday route, our out concept. So now what we did now was we knew that a lot of teams were, you know, preparing for us, which is what all defenses do. We just pretty much ran 62 hits. And now what we did was we, we took this here and we ran hitches on both sides. And then we ran seams up the middle. Just kind of a little change up for us. Now, the guy that's catching the ball now was the quarterback from the previous uh, previous video. So the guy we have at quarterback right now, this is pretty much a, a sophomore quarterback. We're pretty much giving him some reps uh, at the end of the season. He's going to be our probably one of our starters or uh, our backup quarterback moving on um, for this year. So we're just trying to see what we have at this point. So we're just moving a lot of pieces. So just a nice little change up for us. 
But at the same time, too, if we wanted to just run 62, we have all a lot of this green grass in this area right here. We can throw this Friday route. Okay, so we went 62x skinny. So quarterback is just signaling to our X receiver. Again, this guy was a, a great asset for us. He was one of those guys that had great speed, 4-5, four, 4-4 four, four speed, and then he's running a skinny post. We're still running the 62. All right, going up jet 62. So, so the guy that's in motion, that was the H guy you were talking about. Just want him to come more straight down the line, not kind of run more up the field. I know he's kind of banged up at this particular time. But if he kind of stays, want him to stay a little bit more flat down this line here. But we still have a play. All right, we're going open flip, 62. It took us forever, I see. So we also did, we did bubble. That was a change up for our guys with our inside, our Z. Kind of gave it a change up instead of running out we kind of bubbled them running a bubble but we still wanted to attack and get our ball to that to our to our h or our y this is the first game of the season we went uh 61. you know the film kind of gets crazy here at this point here All right, so I put this clip in here because a lot of these guys that we have in this clip are going to be a lot of varsity players for us as far as the receivers, the four receivers we have. Uh, the quarterback that I was explaining to you earlier, he's he could potentially be a starter for us this year. And this is just them working 62 Friday. So this is just the JV level, but we're getting making we're making sure our JV guys, our youth guys are doing the same thing they were doing, getting the base concepts down. So when they get to the the varsity level, their 11th or 12th grade year, they know how to run 61 and 62. And that's 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 about it. That's about it. Any any questions? No, oh, that's an awesome job, man. Awesome job. That's okay. uh, that's straight. You 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 look like how mummy <laughs> running that stuff, man. That was perfect. <laughs> Learn from you guys. Learn from you guys all the time. Well, I, I tell you, uh, that, that was a nice shot with the JV too. That uh, you know, sometimes we we limit the package on JV. Mm -hmm. and we're probably selling them guys a little short. They could probably handle a lot more than we let them do. Yes, sir. Uh, now it's good that you're uh, you're running the exact same stuff JV wise, and it's good. I, I know it might have hurt a little bit last year playing them young guys, but I bet you it's going to pay off this year, man. Yeah, yes, sir. We took we took a lot of a lot of a uh, lot of heat with it, but you know. The kids love the offense. And when we put the offense in, they enjoyed it from, from when Stan came in to us and installed it with the staff, I want to say February or March. We went off running the end of March, early April, and the kids fell in love with it. You know, all our kids, you know, what they see on TV, catching the ball, getting the ball in the space. And it's just pitch and catch. It's just almost for us like old school, throw it up and run, throwing the ball right now to me and making somebody miss. So our kids loved it. Yeah, no, no, you you had you did a good job of just playing pitch and catch. Tell me, mm -hmm. uh, all right. So on your Friday route, mm -hmm. what do you uh, about? How many times did you throw that last year? Was that a three, four, five times a game? Was it a that was a that was pretty much a lot, three to four times a game. And especially with you know on the clips, you're not going to see us. You just see the clips. 
but we ran a lot of tempo with it as well. So we were lining up really, really fast, and we were catching the defense out, out of position, which was an easy, quick throw for our quarterback to just get the ball out right now, catch rocket fire, and get the ball out. And our quarterback, he he loved throwing the ball to our H because he felt as if that was his best guy to get the ball to at that particular time. So he just – he both of them, the JV guy and the varsity guy, they they knew he was the, the bomb.com. So they just wanted to give him the ball right now. And That means they were smart. Yeah. How about your, uh, your wide corner? That was pretty much in your mindset. That was a, a man route or a goal line route for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a ton of, ton of stick last year? A ton of stick last year. Going to do better with – uh, uh, was 61. Want to want to get our guys and more familiarized with with stick, on our stick uh, with the hitch route, and that's why I wanted to kind of marry and mirror both sides later on in the year, because our quarterback always wanted to throw the ball to the left, which is fine, but I wanted to understand too that you know, it's an easier throw, a shorter throw sometimes to your right. You don't have to throw that ball from the opposite hash all the way to the left side. You know, you can save your arm a little bit. We can get this ball out to the Z. So that's why we kind of mirrored a little bit as well, too, but also giving the defense a change up. Right, right. Well, man, you did a great job. Uh, I know you got an exciting season coming up. I, you're you're finishing up your spring ball right now and uh, getting ready to head into summer. But I Absolutely. sure appreciate you coming on and doing this, man. I appreciate you, Joe. Thanks for having me. Thank you, buddy.